We are moving right along in the creation of this idea journal that is hopefully going to be the key to my success, as I said before, in collecting my ideas, gathering them in appropriate places so I can find them throughout the upcoming year. I hope you will join me for the entire series. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I have a very eclectic taste. I like to experiment, explore, jump into different mediums, and if you like that, please subscribe. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. You can also find me on my website. I have a blog over there, my Facebook group, Instagram, and so forth. So what we originally did with these tabs was coated them with some texture paste on top of the book pages that we had decoupage to them in the first place and laid down a layer of paint. This is raw umber that I am working with. Went back and, and laid on some uh, yellow ochre as well. I have pulled out the deli sheet that I used when I created the cover. Um, right here I'm just gluing down some loose book pages with the glue mixture, glue and water mixture, or my version of Mod Podge. But this deli sheet is what I utilized when I was gel press printing the cover. I laid it on top of the cover and hit it with my brayer. So there's a lot of colors that we are using that were transferred to this deli sheet. I'm putting it on top of this entire tab and you can see me pushing it down. I'm trying to make sure that that very thin deli sheet gets down inside all of those ridges and grooves of that texture paste so that we still can see the texture, but we've covered it with this very transparent deli sheet. Just flipping it the piece over and wrapping the edges that are left on that sheet to the back and gluing them to the back of the tab. And any little piece that I tore off or any remnant that I have of that deli sheet, I'm just decoupaging on here. So I use the entire deli sheet in either bits and pieces or the full piece. And now I have pulled out this Vogue magazine and I'm gonna pick a couple of images that I would like to transfer to this tab and we're going to utilize the gel press to create that transfer. So I've pulled the gel press out, and I am going to put a very thin dot or small dot of paint on the press. I have my press relatively clean. I cleaned off the center of it, but I'm not opposed to those leftover paints pulling on this print. So I'm laying down the Vogue image on top of that very thin layer of paint, rubbing it the back with the brayer to get good contact of the magazine page to the gel press. And you can see here that that magazine image has now transferred to the gel press. And you can really see the, the nice fine detail in her face. So we're gonna let that dry to the touch and come back in with this green gray, which is very similar to the color of that mint texture paste that we've been using for the patina. And a very fine, thin layer of this over the top of that dried image transfer. And let's lay this sheet down, get really good contact by going over the back of it with the brayer. And now we'll carefully pull that. And you can see that that image is pulling up on top of that green gray. So there we have it. And you can see some of the remnant colors. You can pick up the blues and different colors that were left on the outside edges of my gel press. 
And I'm okay with that. I like that. Kind of gives it that old stress, old paint look. So now that we have that down, I'm going to flip this tab over and just add, darken up the back a bit. Or I'm going to darken up, I'm sorry, I'm darkening up where we put that um, deli paper on the front. And now I'm going to cut this lady out that we have transferred with the gel press. And I'm just going to go around. I'm just going to try to cut out as close as I can to the outside edges of her. And I'm not going to get overly crazy about being real fussy with the cut. And just outlining her. And we'll lay her down right here. And I like her on that darker, on the darker side. And I want to add some patina. So I've pulled out this blue. That texture effect comes in blues and greens and different colors. And I think I'm going to add some blue into this project. So I'm going to start with a little halo behind her. In there, she'll fit nicely. And you can see I got had some on my finger and got it on top of her. We're going to fix that in a minute and act like that was intentional. Now that the glue is unstuck, we'll give her a good coat of glitter glue on the back and get her glued into place. So there is her final little resting spot. We'll let her dry. Trim up any place that she is overlapping. And I'm sharpening my Stabilo All pencil. Because what I want to do is go around the outside edge of my lady and just give her a little more detail and a kind of a shadow effect around the outside edge. So I'm going around the outside edge, then wetting my finger and just rubbing that rubbing that in to, to kind of give it a little more definition, spread it out just a little bit. And now where I smudged, I'm going to take some of that texture paste and just go ahead and kind of add that texture paste into, into my lady. And I think that looks good. So I'm happy with that. Around the outside edge with that blank ink, ink pad, to define the entire piece, kind of frame it in. And I'm becoming happy with how this looks. Just checking to see how it is going to fit in behind the one that we did previously, the clay. And I'm Starting to be happy with that. I want to grab that green and just add add the green to kind of transition from the green to the blue. I have a little piece that I want to secure down here on the edge. And now let's get 
get our heading or our title for this page. And this is going to be where I gather my ideas for the gel press. So we're dividing this book up. We did air dry clay previously, and now we're going to make a section for gel press ideas. Let's see where it <laughs> I would like to add something behind the header, that the gel press header that we've made. And I think that this uh, gold fabric would look nice and kind of complement the piece. So I want to add some of that in. Just struggling with, do I want to add it anywhere else? I'm looking at little bits of that gold and laying them around to see. And I'm thinking, no, I, I will stick with it just behind the word gel press. I do want to take that and hit it with vintage photo around the outside ed edge of what we have written here and then just distress it up a bit with that vintage photo. And I want to set that aside because, because there's charcoal on this. I'm going to add in this fixative and make sure that it doesn't move when I add that Mod Podge hard coat. So I've taken that away, sprayed it with that fixative, which you briefly saw, a flash of that fixative can, and I just hit it with a, a little bit of the heat gun to dry it up. And now I can hit that with the, um, the rest of what we want to do and not worry about that charcoal with the Stabilo all moving around. So I've decided that the back should be yet another woman. I'm taking that second image that I pulled out of Vogue and putting it on the gel press. And what I want to mention here is I, I struggled with learning how to do this. And where I was having the bulk of my issues was in the amount of ink that I was putting on the gel press. I was putting way too much ink down. So be mindful of just a drop of ink. And when you lay on the second coat, after that first coat has kind of touch dried, you want to be able to kind of see your image through that layer of paint when you lay it down. You're just putting that additional layer on to reactivate that first layer so that you can pull it up. So here is the second lady that we have done. And we'll just cut around the outside edge of her body. And we will get her resting on the flip side of this tab. And I like that darker color, so I'm taking the black ink pad going around the outside edges, rubbing it to hit the highlights of the texture. And now I'm going to glue, glue my lady down. Taking a little bit of the texture effect paste in the blue and going around her and back with the Stabilo All pencil. And once again, I will hit this side with the fixative as well because that um, Stabilo All will activate to moisture. And I don't want to put that hard coat on and spread that black all over in places that I don't want it. So I'd like to just stabilize it. We'll glue our title on here. And I'm coming back with the gilding wax and we'll go around the outside edge of this tab. And I'm going to take that back to the first tab that we did and, and probably do that as well. I didn't have the gilding wax out on that first one, so we'll probably take that back and just hit, a, hit around the outside edge of all of them as we complete them. 
As we finish this up, I'd like to add a grommet at the top so I have a place to pull some of that gold fabric through and tie it off. And I would also like to bring out some of those copper liquid pearls and just do some decoration. I'm going to add some earrings on one of the ladies and just add dots here and there to make that have a bit more interest. So that completes this tab. It is going to go in for the gel press ideas in the idea journal. This is the clay or the clay tab that we completed last. And next will be the one for encaustic wax. So thank you so much for joining me on this little journey. I appreciate it. And I, of course, appreciate those comments and the likes help the channel. So thank you so much. Bye for now.